who are just about to kick off. And the Bulldogs are running from right to left. The South Sydney are running away from the city. And that's Charlie Poynton, who is a player to watch. And we'll talk a little bit more about him later good in the take. game. That's but a good take. There. He's brought a great... to you by Daryl Lee. Since 1927, making it better. Uh, it is Michael Tasker. So there you, oh, go. There you from, go. From the borough. Loves this club with a passion. And he's, you won't find any more passion. That's a good kick there. And look at that. That's a great that's kick. That's great defence. And that's put him back into our win goal. They've really that... scored. They're going is up he, for a try. He, They're celebrating a try. Sorry, we were got a bit sidetracked there, and I wasn't zoomed in on it. But um, what do you reckon? There, there, there's look at the a try. Did they? Did he scoff the ball up close to his line? And we've scored here. And well, he tipped me into Matt. And as he kicks the goal, he's oh, oh, struck that. Has oh, just gone. Oh, oh, the hit wind. the post. The hit wind. the post and deflected out, Brownie. Right, but you know, the decision time, Brownie. Do we take the easy two? No, in I'm going to play on here. Oh, we, we got them on the ropes here, the yeah, dogs. Yeah, it looks like they're going to. Yeah, straight away, Brownie, no hesitation. Just like Alfie Langer for the Broncos back in the day. Just took the tap and went with it. They're going We're left. going to the left-hand side again. And we should score here. Charlie Mann will go in untouched. And we had them on the ropes. They yes. took the right decision not to take the two points. And we score down the left-hand edge. And that takes us eight points to nil with a kick to come. Oh, that was lovely, Brownie. So we speculated. The choices were... You take the gift two points, and I always like to take the gift two points, but in this situation, instead of going 6-0 up, they've took the tap, gone to the left, got it out to Charlie Mann, who's been playing fantastic footy out there on the left. He's causing all sorts of dramas, him and Charlie Point, and the two Charlies. There's three Charlies on the field. Brownie, Charlie Rabbit's out there. Oh, Charlie Charlie Gallagher. There he is. I'll show you in a minute. I'll wait for this kick. Oh, he's hit the post again, but it's oh, gone in. Beautiful. Well, we didn't get that on the camera, but there he is there. We're just talking about Charlie before. Charlie who took over from Reggie Rabbit, and he's an absolute legend of this club as well. Look at the work he does. He doesn't just dress up in a suit on the, you know, with the first grade. He's working with these kids and guiding them. He loves this club. He loves it with a passion, so he's not just a mascot that does a job. And that's our man, Charlie Gallico. And we've had him on the show too. We went out to his place and interviewed him. And so that- we like doing a lot of interviews here on the show. And, and that successful goal kick takes us to 10 points to nil with nine minutes to go. And speaking Insights from behind the scenes as the doggies are on the attack. A nice short ball there. They've gone straight through. And that's Bronson Rubin who takes on the fullback. And A the good tackle great, from the number one there. Yeah, Billage. Great tackle from the fullback. It's last tackle. The Bulldogs go on the attack. He runs the ball. And a nice work from Mitchell Woods, who we spoke about just earlier. Yes. He threw a nice ball. As Bronson Rubin moves in to kick the goal to, and it's successful. He converts a try and that takes the score to 10 points to six in favour of the South Sydney Rabbitohs in the Harold Match round two fixture here at Redfern Oval with five minutes to go, yeah. Maver. Look, yeah. they've got a good halfback salve. We, Matt Humphreys, he's been playing well and we've got the lead here and there's a little bit of a good ball there. They've shown they plans keep for footy the ball. now. Oh, look out. That's great attack. And there's the man we're just talking about, Mitchell Woods, who scoots away and goes back-to-back, scores a try within a minute in the next set of six. And that was great attacking football from the Bulldogs who kept the ball alive. Yep. And Mitchell Woods was on the end of it. Great support play from Woods. Sorry about the... And said uh, she's a very good prospect in the Bulldog system. Oh, yeah, she's kind of right at the moment. She's got to uh, take her time. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he uh, loved it. He... He loved being in the Tongan team. And um, it was our first time going over to England, so it was pretty good. We and enjoyed it there. As, uh, w- Woods has just stepped off the left, stepped off the right, and sliced them up the middle. They didn't need that. There was 12 seconds, 15 seconds left in the half. And young Woods has just shown his class again. Yeah. We tipped you. He's a player to watch. And, geez, he, he's very elusive there. So we're in a little bit of froth and bubble here. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have spoke about him. Maybe <laughs> He's gone back to back and scored two tries within five minutes and the Canterbury team has scored three tries in the space of five minutes and they're going to go into the break 18 points to 10 after this kick is converted. They're yeah, always uh, up there with a chance, Souths, you know. Although they don't go for Souths, but I'm sure they're cheering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, uh, every year they're always up there. Yeah. So yeah. I think but they might... Um, have a chance of winning for this year, I think. Yeah. Here's uh, the second half, Brownie. Yeah, so as Billage gets us underway, and Ali responded to my comment, and he said it's a ride Eastwood Hawks. He's still 20, so hopefully moving up to the RMC. Go now, on the attack here. We'll try and call a try right here. As Humphreys out the back to Billage. Billage, hands out to the winger. 
and it's a try to Yazin Kusko, who goes in down in the northeast corner there of Redfern Oval and takes the score to 18 points to 14 with a kick to come, 25 minutes to go. Well, just what the doctor ordered, Brownie. You said, let's try and call a try, and you did. Kusko, we, 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 we've been told he's a player to watch. A nice ball from Humphreys to Billich. Who passed it on to Tovio, I think it was, down that right-hand edge. And a nice catch and pass to Yazin Kuzko. He was under pressure, Tovio, when he offloaded that ball. So has he copped, he's, he's copped the shot now? He's yeah. still down injured. Uh, he did extremely well to catch and pass the ball at the line. Who put Kuzko over in the corner. But he's It's 18-14. You can see it right there, live and free on Bunnies TV. 24 minutes and 40 seconds to go. And geez, it'd be nice for him to put this over and make it a two-point game, Brownie. Well, he strikes the ball nicely from all his other kicks. He struck this one nice. It's heading towards the post, but it's waved away. Is the Harold Matthews Cup round two fixture here at Redfern Oval. So he's going to come off the centre, Brownie. I'm just zoomed in on him there. Yeah, that's, so uh, that's Tobio. Lan Lancelot Tobio. Oh, yeah, so. Humphreys out here on the left, calling for the ball. That's a no long ball out to Charlie Mann, who goes in and scores adjacent to the post. A great try and a great long ball there from, I think it was Berryman. Or it might have been Humphreys. I'm going to watch it on the replay. Watch it. And we got that one nice and clear that time. I was on, on point in the camera there, Brownie. This should show it on the replay, but they got it out to the left. Long ball. Was it Berryman? Can you see there? We're just watching it on delay here. Well, it was a Berryman, but it was his brother, I think, Tomoko Berryman. His cousin. Yeah, cousin, is it? Yeah, the second rower through that pass. Well, they're cousins. There you go. Position. So. Takes the score to eight and all with a kick to come. And Humphreys moves in and strikes it beautifully. And it's straight between the posts. Sorry. And South Sydney go to the lead. 20 points to 18 with 20 minutes to go. Sorry, I missed that. I was just zooming in on... Charlie, who I was just thinking, he is the man. I said it earlier, but there he is. And there's the, him and the two Charlies there. Like, you can see why they both look similar. But that's him there. Charlie, man, he's been playing well. Sorry to um, young Matty Humphreys, because that would have been a good shot of you kicking that goal. And oh, I completely he missed it. Beautiful, <laughs> yeah. the Rice Bubbles crispy chocolate balls from Daryl Lee. They're Aussie made. They're palm oil free. And they made from sustainably sourced cocoa. Off one. Well, they're trying to go through the middle, Brownie. And we're pretty rock solid there at the moment. So... Yeah, good defence there, there Smith too. again. Oh, hold him up. He's trying to spin over. He's might have got this down, Brownie. Yes, it yeah, looks like he scored yeah. a try. He spoke too soon there. <laughs> too hard to handle the big fella. And he goes over and scores beside the post. Yep. And the Bulldogs go to a 22 points to 20 lead with a kick to come. Commentator's cursed there. I said we're holding them out in the middle. But anyway, the, the pressure was on. This is a good side. And if you give them field position like that, they're going to make you pay. So, and what I was impressed with was his defence. Some of his contact, he saved a try. Um, so yeah. he's, he's wearing good hands uh, with that young kid coming through uh, the pathway system. As Johnny puts the two points on the board there, 24 to 20. There's 10 minutes, 40 seconds left in this game here at Redfern Oval. Round two fixture. A little don't argue there from Oliver Smith. Uh, oh, they goes through. Offload. A nice offload there from Alatini. Alatini onto Mark Luff. Mark Luff for the try line. Good and tackle. he's run down there by the replacement, Toombs. Showed a lot of speed. They got off their line there, the Rabbitohs. They stayed on side. Last tackle. They got one to hold them out. Apologies for the camera work. Oh, Phillips. Short ball. Short ball. And they're in. And they're in. Oh, they had to come, Brownie. They split them up through the yeah, middle. Sheldon Abbey. Scores. And they're in great hands, uh, the Bulldogs, if he's in charge, let me tell you. And we know how good the Penrith Panthers are over the last four to five seasons, winning two grand finals back to back. And let me tell you, that's all been on the back of Phil Gould, what he put in place. The super chat and the super stickers, you will get noticed. Yeah, it's just a small donation as Humphreys goes down oh. the short side. And they, we turn the ball over, and it's Yope. Yope! Yope Rock. Oh, is it Yope? Yope. Oh, and the Swan it is. Dive. And the Steve Maven Swan Dive. <laughs> he, you've done plenty of them there, right in that same position, Mavo, yes. back in the day. Yeah, I have. And uh, so th that, that boy is a Fijian. Uh, his name is spelt J O P E. So we would have called him Jop. But when I had a chat to my man, 
Manal Thompson yesterday. He's a Fijian himself. He said that is Joppe. And then his surname is Racha. It's a R-A-Q-U-E or something. So he knew exactly how to pronounce it. So he's our Fijian interpreter. And we did ask uh, Billy Millard about him being a player to watch. He scored in the first minute of the game last week. And he's just scored there and put a little exclamation point on the try, Brownie. Yeah, well, look, uh, and that try takes it out to 34 points to 20. There's only a, less than a minute to go with the yep. kick that come. And yep. look, a little bit unfortunate for Humphreys there. He went to the line, the ball got knocked out of his hand, and Jope scooped it up and run 55 metres to score. Yep. And what a great sight it was. But Yeah, and we yeah. caught that on our George's camera in George Street City. We're also, we'll just, we'll just let you know who we brought to you by here. Bunnies TV is proudly brought to you by Daryl Lee. George's Cameras, Sight Pizza, the Juniors Gripper Clubs, Dot Build Constructions, NG Farrah, Bunnaby Water, and Blast Pit. So that was our sponsors there. That little pre-recorded message there saves me having to remember it all. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, and all the viewers out there, we wouldn't be able to produce this show if it wasn't from the support of all them sponsors. And we thank you very much. And Daryl Lee, our main sponsor, that is who this show is brought to you by. And the Hooter is just about to go once Mitchell Woods, who's had a blinder of a game, yep. uh, converts his try. And there it is. The full-time Hooter goes. And the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs, 36, defeat the South Sydney Rabbitohs, 20, who were gallant in defeat. I thought they were... Uh, the score, once again, is no indication of how the game was because uh, they were very competitive, uh, the boys from the Harold Mats.